we have a mercury barometer with a column of mercury that has a height h of 740.35 millimeters or in meters 740.35 times 10 to the negative 3 meters the temperature is negative 5.0 degrees celsius or the temperature at which the density of mercury is 1.3608 times 10 to the fourth power of kilograms per cubic meter. The acceleration due to gravity at this point on Earth is 9.7835 meters per second squared. We are looking for the atmospheric pressure at that site in both Pascal's and in Tor. A mercury barometer works because the atmospheric pressure is pushing down on the mercury at the base or at the reservoir of the barometer at the bottom here which pushes the mercury up the glass tube. According to the information given in the textbook chapter, the height of the mercury column in millimeters uh, is numerically equal to the atmospheric pressure in Tor, but only if G, the acceleration due to gravity, is 9.80665 meters per second squared, and the temperature is zero degrees Celsius. Because the problem tells us that both the temperature and the G fail to follow this criteria, we'll have to use a different method. Let's use a formula with the given values to find a better calculation for the pressure. The textbook chapter also tells us that the atmospheric pressure near a barometer can be found using the formula uh, P sub O, the outside pressure, is equal to rho GH, or the density times G times H, where H is the height of the mercury column. Now, let's just plug in our values from the problem. Doing this, and rounding to five significant figures, we get 98,566 pascals. Now, the problem asks us to find the pressure in both pascals and tor, though, so let's do a conversion. Since there are 133.33 pascals in one tor, we end up with, rounded to five significant figures again, 739.26 tor. And uh, that will be our final answer. And we can now see that this is uh, slightly off from 740.35 tor, which would have been the expected value if we were in an ideal situation with uh, zero degrees Celsius and uh, a value for G closer to 9.8. So this problem demonstrates the effects of using mercury at different temperatures and at different values for G.